Pat, it's Maximus here. We have a oval type automotive mirror. This is a pretty nice mirror. It's a glass mirror and I kind of like it. It was only four bucks. It does have a multi-section telescoping going from about six inches to say 24 inches and it does have a pretty decent bracket. It does hold pretty tight. Many of these cheaper ones have really thin uh, plates of metal and uh, I guess it's about average. This would be a look at a Harbor Freight one and what they've done here is they're about the same thickness but they're a lot shorter so you don't get the bending like this Harbor Freight one. Although I wouldn't say it was quite as good as like this I think this Lyle or PT tool one that I picked up which has really thick plates. The reason that's important is as you use it they tend to get loose pretty easily because the plates will want to bend so that's something nice to see. Little machine steel parts. What makes this have a, a distinct advantage is that versus standard mirrors you have quite a bit more surface area and it basically will fit in just the same small areas that a standard mirror will but it kind of gives you the uh, benefit of having just a wider inch and a half mirror instead of those one inch mirrors and I always thought that this was actually kind of a good idea just because it gives you a wider uh, area to see with but you can still get it in some pretty compact spots. The only other thing versus this PT, this uh, performance tool one so they did get it right in the Titan where they have a deep stamping so that you have metal protecting the whole edge of the mirror. I was noticing that on this PT where the stamp, the stamped cup, this isn't quite deep enough. You can actually see the edge of the glass protruding. So this is going to be a little bit more delicate. The reason you these, they are cheap. They also do get broken even with having a nicer metal edge. It's a glass mirror and so it's going to break. They have, they pretty much have to make them out of glass because They'll oftentimes get a variety of different automotive and fluids and chemicals on them. And mo uh, there's inevitably some chemical that's going to affect just about every type of plastic. So they do make them out of glass, which also makes it so you can actually wash them uh, and get them cleaned up pretty easily. So just a quick video, cheap little item, but I thought this is actually a pretty good idea. And I'm glad they're promoting these because these are... Uh, shouldn't say promoting, but that these are showing up in auto stores as these uh, oval type mirrors because I think really they're some of the best just because you have a nice wide surface area, but the narrow profile just really allows you to get them in some pretty good areas. I've always liked the bigger mirrors because of just being able to see a wider area, but oftentimes this, is, this dish is just too big. So, and that's always been the problem once again with these small ones. These are like dental mirrors and sometimes you can just you can you can barely even tell what you're looking at because you just have this little tiny you know one and a one inch or one and a quarter inch window that you're trying to look at and something like this actually helps quite a bit because you can pan back and forth and actually just get a wider uh, viewing angle so anyway they even put a little pocket clip on the boot i'm not super fond of pocket clips but i guess this one just because of the gummy nature of the handle actually holds on uh, reasonably well anyway it's a little review of this oval type automotive mirror and I think it's pretty cool and really what auto parts sh stores should be doing is just selling three piece sets like this or Harbor Freight or whoever uh, the one inch the one by two inch or one by one and a half oval and then the two inch mirror anyway I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time Caddis Maximus out